I did feel in some ways thwarted between what I wanted and, and where I really was in life. And so I noticed that really there's a lot of emotional difference between the two states and also a belief. When I'm on vacation, I believe that doing all these things are completely natural and exactly how I should spend my time. Yet when I'm in hustle mode, being on vacation mode seems like the exact opposite of what I should do to fill my time. And so truly the differences between the two are my beliefs. It's what I've been thinking and what I think is possible. It's also the thoughts that I think about my life and it's the emotions that I generated. Those were truly the differences because really I'm the common denominator. I'm in both experiences, but how I'm coloring the experience and what I believe is possible in each experience is really allowing me to shape the experience. So what I realized was that I had to do something different in my hustle mode, in my life, in order to start to bring more of that vacation mode into my reality. And the way I knew I had to do that was I had to generate different feelings. I had to think different thoughts. I had to believe different things. Now, if you're like me, changing beliefs that really carry a lot of weight to them because how else was I gonna do it, right? Like, I still gotta make money. I still have to pay my bills. How can I live like I'm on vacation mode? So I started small and I did an exercise that I've often done with my consulting clients, which is called start, stop, continue. So you start with what are the things that I know that I need to start doing that would, would enhance my life? And so for me, it came down to things like, I need to start prioritizing the things that I know light me up and give me joy. So that started with me changing the hours that I was available for clients. Instead of working really early and late, which really just kind of shaped the rest of my day, I started to block those times out. I started to allow myself to only have limited ability. I started to shorten my work days at client sites. I just decided that I didn't want to work long hours anymore and that I thought I could do a perfectly fine job in a shorter amount of time. I enrolled in some classes that I wanted to take because I love learning and I realized that I was putting that in the back burner because I always had so much work to do or other things. And so I started to really prioritize and put forward me, my desires, my impulses. That was my start. My stop was I realized that I had to have better boundaries, that really we all have the same time and how I was allocating my time and what I was giving it to had to change. So I stopped spending time on things that I knew drained my energy and that I knew was not really what I wanted to do. And so this looked like outsourcing. I outsourced a lot of activities, but yes, I had to spend money, but I saved energy, I saved time, and I felt way better. I also stopped uh, saying yes to projects or to engagements or activities that I just wasn't a full body yes to, that I really was like, oh, I really don't want to, but I guess I should. I just started to say no to them and free up more time. And I was amazed that when I did this, the energy that I got, the empowerment that I got, and then, uh, then I start to, started to see other decisions that were in front of me that maybe I didn't see before. And then the continue. I looked at where in my life that I actually was feeling good. Like what are the things that I was enjoying? And I did more of that and I continued it. So having that free time, having that creative time to really pursue some of the ideas that I had. These were the small shifts that I started. And this started to turn around my experience in my life. So my experiences started to be differently. I started to feel closer to vacation mode.